Now we discuss filter statement. As the name suggests, it filters and it filters internal table. So here you can see that I have created a code snippet uh, which will work as an aid to understand it with an examples. I've also created some variants uh, and we'll check that what kind of uh, functionalities and variations are possible. So in the first part of the code, this is just data creation. So I'll explain it. In the first part, I'm creating a type LTY value, which consists of two fields, field one and field two, and both of our integer type. And after that, I'm creating a sorted table, sorted table type. And this has a unique key field one and field two. So both of the fields which are used in this type are keys. To be able to help, to be able to use the filter, we need to uh, uh, make this table type sorted or hashed. This is one of the ma mandatory requirements. If the table is not sorted or hashed, filter doesn't work. So moving on, here we are creating an internal table with the content of uh, field 1 and field 2. We are filling it up with the values. So first row contains 1 and 2, second 3 and 4, and third 3 and 5. After that, we are creating two internal tables. The first one is the filter itself. And second one will be the output after filtration. After that, we are printing the content of LT values, which will appear in all the outputs. And after that, we are creating a filter where the field 1 is 3 and field 2 is 5. You can notice it is the last row. So this filter is being created here on the primary key itself. Now we move on and let's check the first variant. As you can see that uh, I'm storing the output and this filtered table. I'm using the keyword filter and after that hash. So the hash word here has a special meaning. If the data type required at operand is not unique and not known completely, sorry, or not known completely, hash is used. Otherwise, a full data type can be used here. A data type can be a structured type or a table type. Depends on the what business logic we are applying here. So here we are putting a filter on the LT values. We see that there are three rows in this table. And we are using this filter, which is this, which points to the last row of this table. And we are doing a primary key comparison here. So the field one of LT values is being compared to the field one of this filter. And same with field two. And that's it. This completes the filter statement. The purpose of this filter statement is to filter out
the values which consists of the field 1 equal to 3 and field 2 equal to 5 and it should be clear with the with this example and syntax we are storing the result of this filter in lt values filtered internal table and now we will loop across it and we'll print it let's quickly execute and see the behavior of the filter statement and the output so in the first part you can see that we are printing the internal table which we have created and after filter you can see that we filtered it on the last row which was our filter and in, fil and in filtered table this is the result so the filter works here now let's move to the another variant of it I'll just comment out this first variant and come and comment the second variant here so this is the almost same example example the only difference here is that in place of hash we have given the table type here and the behavior and the behavior of this uh, filter statement should still be same let me activate it and let's quickly execute it to see the result and it gives the same result it prints the last row let me quickly comment it again let's go to the next variant of it we'll again use the same source table but now we'll use the keyword except which essentially inverts the result set so in this case we are using the filter which was the last row However, the keyword except makes the result opposite, just opposite of the of the result using this filter. So let me quickly execute it and this would be more clear with the output itself. Because in some of the cases, visual aid, aid is much more helpful than describing. Let's see the output at how this accept keyword works. So our filter was on this three and five. That is the last row and we use the keyword except. So in that case, our output is first and second row. So except worked perfectly. This is particularly very much useful when we will have uh, when we have condition where uh, the result set we need is the exclusion of what we need so except keyword does the same let me quickly comment it and let's go to the next variant and the last variant of course let me uncomment it In all of the earlier examples, we use in keyword and we used filter. But this is just an optional. ABAP provides the option that we can completely skip the in keyword and the filter. And we can just provide 
the values to be filtered on. So in this case, we are not using the filter table and we are just filtering on field one and field two and we are just providing it values what to be filtered. And the output should be very similar as that of the first execution. We quickly execute it. And the output is same. As you can see that the last field was the filter. And in the code itself, we put the similar filter. Just we didn't use the filter table. But we directly put the filter here. 